What's up, everybody? It's your boy, DJ Young Homie, and we got a special guest today. We had to bring her back. She was already on the Wake Up and Win show earlier this week, but we wanted to make sure you guys really get to hear her answers to our questions. Matter of fact, the questions you guys have left in the comments below. So real quick, can you reintroduce yourself to the Wake Up and Win show listeners? What's up, everybody? My name is Viatic. I'm a South Jersey artist, songwriter. And I'm representing Jersey. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's good. You know, we, we're out here in Chicago. We love our city. And I'm sure your city is just loaded with talent. You know, we, we've somehow made a great connection with a lot of New Jersey artists here on the Wake Up and Win Show. So we're glad you're joining us. So let's dive in, okay, real quick. Question number one. Now, being an artist, what has been the most memorable experience that you've been through? Mm. Being an artist, I think put being put on the spot to kind of like a uh, freestyle for real, for real. Cause I'm getting better with it. But when people find out, oh, you really do, you rap, you song right there. Like, let me hear what you got on the spot. So I kind of got used to that. That's really well. That's really well, you know. And um, can you can you give me one example of a hurdle that you had to overcome throughout your career? A hurdle. Oh. Yeah. You gotta um just do what's best for you like every everybody's opinion you can't take to heart like i used to take everybody's opinion on a song don't do this don't put this out but i have to do whatever's best for me i can't worry about what everybody else has going on because then i won't make any progress i won't go nowhere so yeah i would definitely have to agree you know you gotta if if you're drowning how can you help the next person you know you gotta save yourself great um, so we all know that the internet has been a great tool for independent artists. Um, it's leveled out the playing field as far as promotion, marketing, and connecting directly to your audience. Can you, can you give us an example of how using the internet has been a great, great help in your career? The internet, I think, oh my gosh, it's amazing for upcoming artists like me because get in contact with so many A's and R's, DJ's, radio stations. And it's all about consistency too. Like you don't even have to spend that much money on promotion. You can just post the same thing every day. Eventually somebody will see it. Back then and like back in the nineties, you just had to be at that right place at the right time. Now it's different. So many connects just on the flip of your phone. So it's amazing. Man, that's awesome. I know I definitely feel that too. I'm a li I'm a little older, so I I know a few years back you had to position yourself in the right location. Right. Yeah, I could definitely see that too. And the internet is such a great tool that we all have access to nowadays. So definitely it's a great tool. You guys, if you're listening, take advice. You yeah. know, definitely take some notes. Let's let's go into more depth. We've all been through a really tough 2020 and it had to do with COVID. So this is the part where I ask you, how are you able to pivot within your business? COVID, you just gotta keep your held, keep your held up high. Like I'm a believer. I just pray to God and I go about my business. You can't let COVID affect you. As long as you keep your distance and put your mask on, cause it's gonna be here. There's nothing we could do about it. You just gotta, I just do what I'm doing. Like, you can't let COVID stop you from making money. If you do, that's an excuse. So I just try to go with the flow. Yeah, that's really good. It's real genuine, too. You know, why, why BS, you know? You are who you are, and you're taking care of that on, on, a, great, on a great level. Exactly. Now, um, can, can we talk a little bit about your song, uh, Trippin'? Tripping, so basically, it How was. How did it start? Where, where the idea of this come from? Give me the backstory to it. Literally, it's crazy because I was walking with my mom at the Gloucester Park. We was chilling, and she played that color me bad. I wanna sex you up, and I'm like, yo, I could do something with that beat. So we walk in, and then my boyfriend at the, well, he's my boyfriend now. I happened to see this guy walking up to me, and I just started putting two and two together, and it just came about. So it was just basically like a feel good song. That's really good. Now, as far as uh, with the writing or creating the lyrics to the song, uh, what's your muse? What What is something like a catalyst that gets you going in the right direction? 
basically my muse is because I am in school for psychology. All my friends really come to me about their problems and I hear the most common thing. Every time they at work, their significant other think they cheating. So I'm like, let wow. me into a song because sometimes when we at work because love don't pay bills we trying to get it your significant other think you out doing something else but i'm really just out here working so i was like i have to write about that because i ain't hear that out not one time yet it really felt good too so you're really acting on a on a situation you also took a, an emotion too and you were able to put that together on paper that's what's up that's that's Thank talent right there yeah, I be just storytelling because, you know, uh, writing is all about emotions, real life experiences. So I try to tie that into the song. It got to be relatable. Yeah. You mentioned storytellers. Could you name me a couple storytellers, like either authors or even artists that, that you look up to or you try to mimic and model yourself after? Artists that I admire or Biggie, Nas, and Jay-Z. From back wow. in the day, they storytelling. I study like they pen and paper. I love it because I'm learning something from it. They storytelling, but I'm also getting something out of it. So those are my biggest uh, inspirations. Man, that's really great. How about, how about, I know you threw it back. You named some three greats. Me, personally, I'm a big Jay-Z fan. Okay. You know, I, I didn't grow up with a father, and he was kind of like one of those, you know, um, placebo father role figures you know i looked up to him you right. know and um i know jay actually leaves a sour taste in a few people's mouths some people either really like him or they're really not with him <laughs> really so because because those guys are are seasoned veterans and rest in peace you know to biggie and and the other artists too we i want to see if you could maybe uh mention a, a, a more modern artist is there somebody that's more recent that you could say you're 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 trying to model after, you're trying to chase, you're trying to be oh, like. I'm mainly influenced since modern, I would say Nicki Minaj. She, right. She's been in the game 10 years running still strong. And she could rap about anything. It just don't have to be sex. Like that's real rap. Not always talking about your body. Like it's what you got to bring to the table. So she really inspires me. So I was to have to say her. That's phenomenal. I know Jasmine, another Jasmine, um, on our show is a big fan of Nicki Minaj. That's her lady. That's her girl. <laughs> so it's great to see great taste is still abundant here in the industry. Um, my, my last question before we go, I want to ask you about both the music business and the music industry. Um, they're, they're not the same. They are not the same thing. Um, I'll tell this firsthand, being in radio, um, I've done some concerts too, you know, with your with your mid majors and your majors. I was the opening DJ for the Big Jam concert here with Lil Baby, Megan Thee Stallion, and Migos, and it was felt really well. Um, but I also worked on Big Jam too when Lil Baby came back uh, with some mid majors, with some unbeknownst artists that are still making great moves. Um, one thing they all had in common was a um, a sort of team. Now that team can just be a manager or one person that's steady behind them as a rock. My question to you is, uh, do, are you developing a team? Do you have some sort of backing support or do you feel like there's another way to do this? I'm the, well, to answer both questions, I am developing a team and I feel like any upcoming artist, we need the support. Like if somebody is not uplifting you, then I feel like you need to cut them off. We need the support. As times is upcoming, like you have your days where you feel like I can't do this. Yeah. Give up. You need that support to tell you to keep going. And having a team is always good because when you got people who all want to see you win in your circle, you can't go wrong. So I like to keep my circle small and with them minds. So I to answer your question, the team is definitely much needed. Yeah. It's great. And I totally agree with that. You know, I, I see so many artists young like yourself that are so talented and so focused, but um, they're they're not having the right family around them. The nice right. people, the people that are there for you and want to help you out. But you also need people in your quarter. They're going to be like, hey, Viatica, I, I don't think you should be going to that spot at this moment in time. I think you should just stay in the studio, put in some work. And so this is a great thing. It means that you have a plan. And if you don't have a plan, wake up in winners, you're planning to fail. Exactly. And what I call what you just said, that's constructive criticism. Every artist should take that in, but don't let that break you. 
Yeah. They'll take that in and do what you have to do, but just keep that. Because I believe energy that's reflected. So if you don't want to see me win, you're not trying to, not on the same page I'm on, then you can't ride this boat. Exactly. That's well said. Um, ladies and gentlemen, once again, you're listening to the Wake Up the Wind show with our guest today, Viatica. Um, real quick, can you tell our listeners and our viewers where they can reach you directly? You guys can reach me on Instagram at V I O T I C C, and my Twitter is Banger, B A N G E R underscore O A. I'm always active on there, so just follow me. That's right. And if you follow me, I just followed her too on Instagram. So that's a quick way to get her, my winners, and everybody else. Now, if you have any questions, comments below. And if you want more information, more videos and clips, you can just head on over to youtube.com with the keywords, Wake Up and Win Show. I'm your host, DJ Young Homie, and this is my lovely and talented guest, Vionica, and we're wishing you guys a great afternoon. Thank you. Enjoy y'all day. Turn up. I've been money while you tripping. Get into this bag as I'm living. Missed a few calls, now you say I'm acting different. Well, you know you got my heart so driven. Made this both from around the world.